the place in Ohio which has a lot of business by drivers pulling in their vehicles, having their wheels checked for wear, and their dashboards looked at closely. But they are definitely not your everyday vehicles anymore. In tonight's My Ohio, Leon is here with some unusual vehicles with a lot of miles on them. These vehicles don't have quite the pickup you need for interstate travel, but with their one horsepower, you can step out. Yes, just one horsepower, but there is a special mechanic who can keep you rolling. In parts of Holmes County, Ohio, life moves at a slower pace. Here on an asphalt road, a horse-drawn buggy is pulled by a high-stepping horse. The driver needs a sure hand to set the rhythm of the horse's clip-clop. Nearby, a horse and buggy minded man echoes that Holmes County rhythm. Yes, this is the 21st century, but some of the 19th still holds on. With it in a firm grasp are the sure hands of Ivan Burkholder, mechanic and refurbisher of buggies and wagons. Years ago, this kind of work just dropped in his lap. Find an old wagon in a barn, you know, and I take it home and I redo it and made some money on it. Well, one wagon led to another. Next thing he knew, Burke Holder had found his passion. His woodland coach set up near New Hope in Holmes County sets back off the road. Under a spreading tree is a shop with a jingle of this and a jangle of that. If your wagon or carriage or sleigh needs some work, fellows here will get it back behind the horse. Wayne Troyer is the paint striper coaxing a horse-drawn sleigh back on its runners again. You brought it up to speed. We're getting there, yeah. yeah. Put a couple yeah. of horses in front of this and we're ready, ready to go. Ready to go, ready to go. <laughs> yeah. 31 years ago, Burkholder talked Troyer into leaving furniture decorating, nudging him toward sleighs and buggies. Does this ring your bell? It does, it does, <laughs> yeah, I enjoy this. Were there a cash register here, its bell would ring, counting the money made here, Burkholder boasts a showroom of vehicles up for repair or up for sale. From a wide area, business is wheeled in. Most of this is 19th century. Not a lot of 21st century things in here. But everything in here is under contract for repair or will be sold. Not a lot of call for all of this, but for those who need it, they know where to come. Like the customer from a couple of counties away who pulled in a rig bellowing, Hey Ivan, what do you think you can do for my rig? And the top rail comes off and we'll cover it just like a dashboard. Woodland coaches packed with wheels, upholstery and fittings, not often seen. Often Ivan uses a heavy hand on his hammer to finish a job. Ivan is not long on talk, but he knows his stuff. Ought to, he learned the trade from his dad and his granddaddy. They had Ivan at age 12 working a wagon. 50 years ago. Ever since, anything horse-drawn has called him. This is a coach from the 1890s. Burkholder found it at an auction. Had to have it, so he brought it home. It's got a $9,000 price tag on it, if anybody wants to buy it. It's okay if nobody buys it, because Burkholder really wants to hold on to it anyway, just like he holds on to the past. Which raises a question. In a trade not widespread, what happens to the business when you can't go on anymore? Um, I don't know. I, I have nobody knocking on my door to ask for a job. An old painting on the wall stares at us, depicting a mostly gone time. Mostly gone, but not fully. What is in the painting still exists in the tools and handiwork of Woodland Coach. Also in the well-lined face of a man straddling times with one foot steeped in the past, the other stepped in the present. For Holmes County's Ivan Burkholder, the old wheel keeps turning. When you pull into his garage, take your horse back with you. Burkholder doesn't feed your steed. And if he doesn't have a repair part for your buggy or wagon, often he cannot usually order it, but he will make it himself. Then you can hitch up and trot out. Live on 5 in my Ohio. I'm way out there. <laughs>